Welcome to We Don't Have Cookies with your host, Jason Marshall. Hey, everybody. Thanks for downloading the show. It's the first episode of WDHC in 2020, and it's often said that hindsight is 2020. So today I am going all the way back to the very first episode of the podcast, a trip down memory lane with the people who were here on the very first episode of the show. But first, I want to thank a couple of listeners who really helped spread the word and shared the show last year. Shout outs to Lone Wolf GAM on Twitter and Instagram, Jason Lampro, Jake Hudson, and Chris Doyle. Also, special thanks to Chris Doyle for the Christmas gift. He bought me a Frogger game. It's one of the many arcade systems that you can hook up to the TV. Looking forward to playing that. And I might put a video up on YouTube of me and maybe some guests playing it. Another listener, John the Songman, sent in a song to bring in the first episode of the year. I'm going to play that, and I'll be back. Hi, my name's Jason, and 2020 is finally here. And it's the best first episode of the podcast of the year. And it's something you will always want to hear in your ear because it's the most time of the first ever January year. Because I know for sure you love hearing me on the air each and every year. I am back and I'm joined now by the two guests who were here when it all started. They are part of the podcast history. They're comedians. But most importantly, they hold a place in my heart as dear casual acquaintances of mine. <laughs> They are Mama Kate and Gary Henry. <laughs> hey, Jason. Should old acquaintance be forgot, Jason will bring them back on the podcast. <laughs> I was thinking of that song, and I was trying to sing it. That was the only line I could remember. And I thought, you know, for me, that song now is... <laughs> May old acquaintance be forgot like I forgot the rest of this song. <laughs> That's the entirety of the fucking song. Yeah. I don't remember any of it, but that one line. Should old acquaintance <laughs> be forgot and never brought to mind. So it's like you're remembering all the people you've forgotten. You're like, I can't bring them to mind, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> Let's just make a blanket statement for everyone I've forgotten. <laughs> We'll add Father Time to the top of that yeah. list. <laughs> There's a story coming out about him later. Oh, goodness. Oh, Lord. I'm sure that's dramatic <laughs> and filled with spelling errors and <laughs> indecipherable. <laughs> it was it was uh, unexpected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's crazy. It's been a while since that first episode. Obviously, it's been a few years. Oh, yeah. That episode gets downloaded almost every single day. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. And it's, it's, it's embarrassing <laughs> because I listened to it yesterday and I was horrible on there. And I thought, God damn it. If there's that an episode. podcast feels like a different lifetime ago. Like so much has happened yeah. in, you know, my life in just the general era of the world that it's like, that was like a whole other, <laughs> I don't know who that person was. She was pretty happy. <laughs> Yeah, every time I see that episode get downloaded, I think, oh, man. I no, hope not that one. Not that one. <laughs> I know. I hope you've listened to the newer stuff and are just going back. Like, as a Don't matter, let that be the only one. As a matter of fact, I wouldn't go past 253. <laughs> just start at 253, <laughs> just 253 on. And That's beyond. all I've ever done. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, we were good. I mean, you said, yeah. but Gary and I. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, we rocked it. <laughs> We were I killer. Just, we saved your whole podcast. If it weren't I for think us, so. this would have never gotten off the That's ground. why you have a podcast, because yeah. of us. Exactly. Where's our royalties, Jason? <laughs> I think so. I listened to the, probably the first 30-some seconds, and I was like, oh, man, yeah. this is rough. And I just turned it off. I couldn't even listen. <laughs> he doesn't even know what happened. I, I, we were talking about that earlier. I don't even remember what we talked about. I'll have to go back and listen to it. But, you know, I do remember that part, like, it was at the very end and jason said that whatever he made off this podcast he would share with us <laughs> so, oh, i don't yeah, think I you're right that. i think you're gonna have to go back and listen to it jason it's at the it, it's at like the last 15 minutes <laughs> i think you're i'll have my lawyer call your lawyer yep <laughs> well, one thing that i never could quite remember and this is why i went back to listen i thought who was really the first guest 
Was it Mama Kate or was it Gary Henry? Because I've went back and forth saying that you were the first mm-hmm. guest. Well, we were on and, the first show together, so yeah. I mean, we were a, Group a team. I mean, I guess you could say who talked first. Right. Is that what you went back and listened for? Yeah. So who was it? Well, I had in my head for a long time it was you. Because yeah, I generally talk a lot, yeah. And then some point, I was like, no, it was Gary. Yeah. And then I listened, and you interrupted me during the intro to the right. show. And I yeah. was like, oh, no, of course. <laughs> I, I, whenever you intro a show, like, there's just that juvenile part of me that wants to be like, you know, like, fart sounds. And I try, I try to hold it back, but it's... There's just that little sliver of 14-year-old boy that wants to fart in the mic whenever you start. (laughs) (laughs) I said the name of the podcast, and you said that it should be called We Have Cookies, that you were promised cookies. Yeah. (laughs) Oh, I remember that. I'm still pissed about that every time I come here. Nothing. No cookies. (laughs) And, you know, I said something about going back to 253, the episode. And I did think about renaming the podcast just because it's kind of changed a lot since the early days. Yeah. And I was thinking about calling it, we don't have them cookies. We don't have them cookies. Just to kind of (laughs) isolate myself from the, yeah, yeah, it's a new show. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. You're brand, you're branded now. I don't know if you can change anything. Well, I do know musicians that'll do that. I actually thought about changing my stage name. Oh yeah? Yeah. What are you going to change it to? Well, at first I was, Tossing Very around angry. the idea. Of, <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that's almost as bad as, you know, no. That's the joke. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, nah, there was a time I was uh, leaning towards Bubba. Okay. Bubba? Bubba Henry, yeah. Bubba Hen- that's, yeah. But, I yeah, that. yeah, I didn't get positive feedback on that, though. But. Really? I mean, it kind of have to come with a character. Yeah, like, I don't yeah, think, that's. You know, you could just change it and be Gary right. performing. You'd have to develop a. A Bubba character, but I I see it. I see it. You could do straw that. Straw hat and that bib off. overalls. And... I haven't got a tagline for you. Oh yeah, yeah. Driving rigs and doing gigs with Bubba Henry. <laughs> with Bubba Henry. <laughs> there that's, you go. That's good. See, <laughs> you just got to talk to comedians. I mean, who have you been talking to? Your wife? Your exactly. Family? Yeah. They don't know shit. <laughs> it's like, uh, no. <laughs> she probably never thinks you're funny anyway. They're, just, they're like, yeah. No, not really. I mean, she used to be excited for me. Like, I'd come home from a gig, you know, and she'd be waiting up the wee hours mm-hmm. just to hear how it went. Yeah. And, and she'd be like, how'd it go, how'd it go? And, and now, you know, I've been doing it for a few years, and I actually have to go and wake her up to let her know I'm home. Yeah. The yeah, only yeah, thing yeah. she asked me is, hey, how much gas is in the car? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, she's, about right. she's over it, yeah. yeah when she's I first over started it. doing comedy, not only would my husband wait up, but the kids would be up when I would get home. Oh, my boy. dad would call me on the ride home because he would be concerned that I would fall asleep. <laughs> you know? I'm a grown-ass woman. Right, know? right. You don't think I can drive to Chillicothe and back and make it home safe? Well, we caught up on the Christmas episode, but do you have any New Year's resolutions? You know, I'm really trying to just not be as angry. Okay. Like, that's find, a good one. Find some peace. Like, there's just been a lot of things personally in the world that have snowballed into like this rage that seems to be going on inside of me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so I'm really trying to just make peace and let things go. I haven't been successful yet, but it's early going. So. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's a process. Like, you know, you can't just not be angry on day one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know Mama Kate has kids because I talk- she's Mama Kate. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it would be a stupid name if I didn't have kids. <laughs> but you got kids too, right, Gary, or, or no? Yeah, yeah, I got, a, I got an eight-year-old son at home. And he's very independent. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I hope he's still there. <laughs> <laughs> he might have a friend come pick him up. <laughs> <laughs> Between the three of us, you, you mentioned this earlier. It's been so long. It seems like so many things have changed since yeah. that first episode. I think Gary's the only one who is still working the same job and still <laughs> doing comedy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hard at it. How's yeah. that going for you, Gary? Oh, it's going pretty good. It keeps me busy. Yeah. Yeah, well, really it's like busy. I got to the point where it's like you've done all the same places over and over again that you're like, I 
I either have to come up with a new set or find new places because I can't, <laughs> I can't keep doing these same jokes in the same places. But then when you have kids to expand out, well, then that requires a whole nother level of traveling and that I just, I don't want to do that. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, kids are definitely a game changer. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know, like, I just don't want to be away from home that much. Yeah, I, I kind of feel guilty, too, because he came first, you know, before comedy. Yeah. You know, I try to spend as much time with him as possible. Like, last night we were playing this game called, Here, son, put your tongue on this battery. <laughs> <laughs> a family-friendly game for everyone. <laughs> right, yeah. I'm, I'm I'm sure I'm not the only one that's ever done that. <laughs> the only bad part is, though, you can only trick a kid into testing a battery one time. Yeah, see, I have six, so I got six shots at that, though. <laughs> well, actually, our age group is 21 to 11 now, so even, like, that has changed. Nobody's hanging on to Santa anymore. Every year we go out and cut down a huge-ass Christmas tree. This year, I went to Home Depot by myself, <laughs> picked one out, chucked it in the car, and took it home. We don't have time. Nobody's schedules match anymore. Our yeah. oldest two are adults. So it's just, it's crazy how things things change. Now, now that you bring that up, the whole Santa Claus thing, you know, my son just turned eight, mm -hmm. and it's coming. Yeah. You know, he's going to figure it out. Yeah. And I was kind of thinking about this the other day. It's like... You know, a couple months before Christmas, you can see Santa Claus everywhere. Yeah. You know, you can go anywhere and see Santa Claus. Uh, except the night he's supposed to bring presents. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Can't see him that night. <laughs> Your mom's like, uh, if you want Santa Claus to come bring your presents, you better be in bed by 6 p.m. <laughs> it's like, okay, the only night that we can't see him? Yeah. All right. But that is the easiest night to get your kids to go to bed. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. They're, yeah. they're running. They're like, yeah, let's go to bed. <laughs> well, then I was thinking about that song, um, I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking maybe that's why the kids go to bed a little early. You know, <laughs> like, Santa I don't want to see any of that. <laughs> Santa Claus shows up and is like, hey, I brought your kids that Xbox. What up? Now, now this, this song would be more graphic. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. Santa was banging mom hard under the Christmas tree. So how about you, Gary? You got any New Year's resolutions or anything like that? Um, I have a more boring answer, man. I don't really worry about things like that. You know, it's just another day. Yeah, I'm not into the whole, oh, I'm going to lose weight. I'm going to get funnier on stage. I mean, I hope that happens. But... <laughs> He's more into wishful thinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's every day. I don't need a New Year's for that yeah. resolution. But, yeah, I just just play it by ear, and whatever happens, happens, I guess. I really don't plan anything every year. Yeah. So how's your husband doing? The first episode we did, you brought your husband yeah. with you, Andy. I think he is actually on a couple episodes, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. He, he would come for a while. He's, he's, you know, he's doing it. <laughs> he's, he's keeping us, uh, he's keeping us funded. <laughs> I'm just working, working. You know, he worked today because got to make that money. That's right. Got to make that after Christmas pay off our debt money. <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of money, if you want to donate some money, go to we don't have cookies.com, scroll to the bottom of that. <laughs> that homepage, click that donate button. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to be off work for three months. I could use some right now. Yeah. So. <laughs> Andy so has everybody to share knows. with Gary and I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there yeah. you go. <laughs> All right. Before you two go, I want to play a game. The game is called Celebrity Hamburger or Hot Dog. Okay. <laughs> I got online. I searched Celebrity Hamburger and Hot Dog. I'm going to say the name of the celebrity that came up. When I say the name, you tell me if they ate a hamburger or hot dog. And if they ate a hamburger, say hamburger. If they ate a hot dog, mm -hmm. say hot dog. And whichever one of you gets the most right, you get a prize. So this is skill-based. Very right. <laughs> My kind of game. All right. You guys ready to play Celebrity Hamburger or Hot Dog? Sure. I think I have an advantage because someone has been sending people magazine to my daughter. <laughs> <laughs> and that's one of the things that they love to do is just, you know, take pictures of celebrities doing random things. Like, look at Diane Keaton at a magazine stand. You know? <laughs> like they don't get enough attention. Yeah, exactly. Because that's what they want to do, be followed around. <laughs> like, yeah. All right. And everybody listening, you can play along if you want to. The first name is I'm Rachel. Crush you, Gary. <laughs> the first name is Rachel Ray. Hamburger. Is this like a speed thing? No, both of you get to answer. 
Well, then I'm going hot dog. We can't go the same. All right. Jennifer Lopez. Hot dog. Hot dog. Barack Obama. Hot dog. Hamburger. Mila Kunis. Hot dog. You said hamburger? I said hamburger. All right. Justin Bieber. Hamburger. Hot dog. Ben Affleck. Hot dog. Hamburger. Marilyn Monroe. Hot dog. Hamburger. You both are tied at three. Oh, yeah. Look at us go. We both win. I hope you have two (laughs) presents. We got more. Arnold Schwarzenegger. (laughs) Hot dog. Hot dog. Donald Trump. Hamburger. Hamburger. Snoop Dogg. Hot dog. Hamburger. Oh, Gary I think he, eked it out with Snoop Dogg. I think he, yeah. I was sure he ate his own kind. All right, Gary. Are you ready for your prize? <laughs> oh, I'm ecstatic. I'm elated. You win a beer glass I got from Joker's Comedy Club that has a NASCAR guy's logo on it, and it's filled with water with my recently deceased guppy in it. Hell yes. What are you nice. going to do with that? <laughs> I'll probably leave it here. Uh, <laughs> Maybe you'd wrap it up Come and on, give Gary. it to Cooper Pooper Scooper for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> mm, it's really That's the cool. dead fish that really tops it off. Oh, it's, oh, yeah. It says Miller Lite. I love Miller Lite. <laughs> Do you love NASCAR? No. Oh, okay. I was going to say, because son's the dead fish, it may be a perfect gift, but I guess not. We'll have to get a picture of you with your uh, with your new prize. We'll put it on the Instagram page for everybody to see. For sure. Just... Just dump the fish and take the glass home. So that's what. Yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> don't let Jason keep the glass. Don't let. Don't reward him for his behavior. <laughs> or give the fish to the cat. Uh, that. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Been waiting for that. Is there anything you want to promote before you go? Well, uh, February twenty third, I'll be closing the Wiley Sunday Comic Show at Wiley's Comedy Club in Dayton, Ohio. All right. How well, about you? Uh, if anybody wants to see me perform, uh-huh. then they can come to any Wittenberg University women's basketball game where I will be operating the scoreboard. It's pretty exciting. <laughs> so uh, wear your diapers because you're going to pee your pants with excitement. <laughs> That's Wittenberg <laughs> University, Springfield, Ohio. Springfield, Ohio. All right. All right. Well, thanks, guys. <laughs> I've, I've been wanting to have both of you on the show just to kind of... Mm-hmm. redo the first episode or at least redo <laughs> <laughs> talk to you guys about it so it was great to have you on i appreciate it I, it's I always fun man like to say that that gary and i appreciate that you've never murdered us when we came here <laughs> <laughs> yes thank you <laughs> it was creepy in the it beginning was, it was questionable the first time we showed up so we're really glad that this turned out to actually be a podcast we're pretty proud <laughs> You should play a game, Serial Killer or Podcast. (laughs) (laughs) Want to contact the show? Send an email to jason at wedonthavecookies.com or call 929-266-9342 and leave a voicemail. This is Anthony Scaramucci, former White House Director of Communications and also a podcaster with Mrs. Mooch on Mooch and the Misses. You are listening to We Don't Have Cookies. Another person who was a big part of the early days of the show was Frankie McDonald. At the time, I would just play some audio of one of his weather videos in a segment called Severe Weather Warning from last week. But now he is on the show every week to give you the latest on the upcoming weather. This week is no exception. Joining me now is the world's most famous meteorologist, Frankie McDonald. Frankie, what will the weather be like this week starting on Monday? It's going to be in more rain in New York City and Boston, all these places in Ohio. It's going to bring more snow in Ohio. And, and, and it's going to just bring a lot of snow in Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island today. To bring a lot of, it's going to be a big blizzard in St. John's, Newfoundland tonight. Another one coming on Wednesday as well. That's two in a row. And Vancouver's getting a whole lot of rain on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday on the west coast of British Columbia because of Pineapple Express dragging all the moisture all the way from California to Hawaii to Vancouver, British Columbia. That woman from Indonesia did an interview with me. Yeah, I saw that, and that was very awesome. I know that had to be exciting for you. That woman from that woman from Indonesia, and she originally her family's originally from Canada, and she did a thing, the story about me, and I just did videos of myself sent it to her for the email, and she did the video, and she uploaded it to her YouTube channel. She has a link to my YouTube channel, so. 
more people in Indonesia are subscribing to me because of her. Wow, that's really awesome. And I, I actually reached out to her to let her know that I thought it was great she was doing that for you. And uh, hopefully one day I'll have her on the show. Yes. Well, Frankie, I like to do something on the show called a question from my last guest. What I do is get a question from my last guest, ask my next guest, without my last guest knowing who my next guest will be. The question can be silly or serious. Frankie, are you ready for a question from my last guest? Yes. Uh, what their favorite cheese is? Mozzarella. It's like a no, it's block cheese. It's not processed cheese. It's a block of cheese. I feel you there. Mozzarella is very good, and I really like block cheese, like you said. I, I don't really like the processed stuff. That's why the AW got rid of processed cheese in early 2018. Switch it over to block cheese. Very nice. Well, Frankie, is there anything you'd like to promote before you go? My focus be prepared to Frank Delgado, the life letter and everything. My bobbleheads are total sold out. That is true, and I'm very glad I was able to get one before they sold out. That uh, that has to be a great feeling. Have a great day. Happy New Year. We don't have cookies. I'm Frankie McDonald. You're listening to We Don't Have Cookies 2020. All right, Frankie. You make a video clip of me for every intro of your show. I'm sorry, what's that? You have to make a clip, audio clip. You know, that would be great. I'll have to look into that. That sounds like a very good idea. Yes. All right, Frankie, you have a great day. Have a great day. I'm Frankie McDowell. You're listening to We Don't Have Cookies. I have thought about switching up the intro. Definitely going to be thinking about how I can make that work. I said last week that I bought a few video games. I bought five, but I only briefly talked about Star Wars. The one I really was excited to get was one that I had my eye on for a few years Whenever I would look at games at GameStop, I would see this one particular game and I would think to myself, who the hell would play that? <laughs> it was always priced kind of high, though. I would show it to my wife and she would roll her eyes and laugh. But last week, I finally bought Farming Simulator 17. <laughs> The description on the back of the box talks about how you can drive more than 280 authentic farming vehicles and equipment from over 80 manufacturers. You plant stuff, you raise animals, all that. It's one of the strangest games I've ever seen. It's the only game that I have been embarrassed to buy. <laughs> I made sure that I put it between the other games that I picked out while I was going through the store and had the label facing my shirt so people <laughs> couldn't see it. I'm standing in line and I saw an old friend that I used to work with the entire time. I'm hoping she does not ask what I'm buying. <laughs> and we had this line of people behind us. I get up to the register. The girl scans all the games, doesn't say a word until she scanned that one, and just had to say the name of the game out loud. <laughs> then she put the game that I spent the entire time at the store hiding between the other games on the top of the pile of games while she went to help the new guy at the other register with this line of people behind me. Uh, <laughs> I was pretty embarrassed, but I am glad I own it. I don't have much interest in playing the game, but I had to buy it to see what the hell this game was. <laughs> and I got to say, it has really good graphics, but I haven't really played it yet. I just started it up, watched the opening scene. That's about it. It is multiplayer. <laughs> so I've been trying to get my kid to play it with me. She doesn't have any interest, even though you can play as a male or a female. And it does have an online mode. I don't know if any of you out there <laughs> have farming. What was a farming simulator 17? But if you do hit me up, maybe we can uh, sow some crops or <laughs> trade cattle or whatever the hell you do on that game online. But maybe I'll play it this week and either post about it on social media or talk about it a little bit on the show next week. I just thought it was a very strange game. And now that brings us to this week's Strange Days. This is something that I used to do when the podcast first started. I quit doing it for a while, but it came back last year. This year, I'm going to be doing things a little differently. 
Days of the week aren't the only thing that have strange holidays attached to them. Weeks and months do too. So if there's a week-long celebration for something, I'll be including that with the strange days at the beginning of each month. I will be letting you know about any monthly holidays too. Since this is the first episode of the month, let's do it. January is National Bath Safety Month. You can never be too safe. Baths are the most dangerous place on Earth. National Blood Donor Month. So donor some blood this month. National Braille Literacy Month. It's a great cause, but I don't see many people celebrating that one. National Hobby Month. My hobby is working on my house and playing video games. What's yours? Email me, jason at wedonthavecookies.com. It is also Hot Tea Month, National Oatmeal Month, and National Soup Month. All three of those go really well with the cold weather here in the States. This week is also Letter Writing Week. You can celebrate that by sending me an email, jason at wedonthavecookies.com, like I just said, or send me a message on social media. Both Facebook and Instagram are under We Don't Have Cookies. I'd love to hear from you. If you're listening to this on the day it comes out, Monday, December 6th, is Bean Day and Cuddle Up Day. Those don't sound like they would go together well at all. A lot of farting going on that day. Tuesday is Old Rock Day. Fantastic. (laughs) Wednesday is Bubble Bath Day, which sounds relaxing. It is also National Take the Stairs Day. Thursday is Static Electricity Day. That sounds like an electrifying holiday. Friday is Houseplant Appreciation Day and Peculiar People Day. I love that last one. Saturday is Learn Your Name in Morse Code and Step in a Puddle and Splash Your Friends a Day. I would not recommend doing that last one. Finally, Sunday is Marzipan Day and National Pharmacist Day. I want to thank all of you for listening. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe wherever you're listening to this and leave a review if you can. This year's going to be the best one yet for the podcast, so make sure you tell your friends and spread the word on social media. That would help out a lot. I want to thank Mama Kate and Bubba Henry for being on today. Of course, big thanks to the podcast official weatherman, Frankie McDonald. I hope all of you are having a great start to the year. I'll talk to you next Monday. for listening. Tell your friends about the show and leave a review. See you next time. That's why you have a podcast because (laughs) of us.